OK, the penultimate race of the week, race 36, the Chattersley Corbett Cup, over two mile, five furlongs, a 0 to 100 handicap, number one, top weight, tainted half for Stu Gray, Ralph for James Follis is two, Floyd's Gal for Graham Clutterbuck is three, Vogel Performance for Kyra Ganti, four, one man for Darren House, five, Origami for Kevin Meenahan, six, Mighty Death for Alex Cherry, along with Super Dreams is seven and eight, Mackinac for Darren House is nine, Mr. Busser for Doug Warren is ten, Culling for Castle for Martin Leadham is eleven, and twelve is Sea Valley for Doug Warren, so twelve of them over this two mile, five furlongs stuff has gone them away and they'll have a total of 20 fences to jump so and they're into the first and everybody's over it but a poor jump of the rear by Carlingford Castle made a bit of an error but plenty of time to settle down so as they approach the second it's Ralph and Mighty Dev and Tainted Half that jump first we'll get over that one a few sticky jumps but Mighty Dev's the one that's going to push through now his own pushing wider is Floyd's gal pushing through is Ralph out wide is tainted half as they get to the third the leader went through the top of it as did Mackinac at the rear and it's vocal performance who's in front and now taken back by Ralph pushing through is Mr. Busser so it's Mr. Busser that finally gets a half length advantage as they approach the ditch the fourth they're all over that hard to tell whether anyone made any errors it's Mr. Busser from Floyd's gal Ralph in third, vocal performance is four, Mighty Dev against the fence is five, and they're followed through by Origami, tainted half against the fence, C Valley out wide, and get to the six, he's over that, poor jump there by vocal performance, pushes him back down and through the pack, but up front is Mr. Busser, has got a three, four length advantage now, happily bowling along in front for the Dog Warren Australian stables, he leads by five to Ralph, he's got the second on his own, he gets to the seventh, over it. Just Mackinac still at the rear. And it's Mr. Busser. Three to Ralph. Mighty Dev tainted half. Floyd's Gow together. And get over the eighth. Better jump there by tainted half on the inside. And Mr. Busser, Ralph, tainted half. Mighty Dev. And both corners. Floyd's Gow and Sea Valley all together. Then we're in in the middle of the pack. One man, Super Dreams. They get to the ninth. Coming to this leader's advantage now. Mr. Bush is only just a couple now from Ralph and Tainted Half on the inside. Vocal performance is sort of out mid, sort of centre course. And inside of that is Mighty Dev. Widest of all at the moment is still, I think, Sea Valley. But it's Mr. Bush up. It's going to lead them to the next. Leads by four to Tainted Half. Ralph, vocal performance. Mighty Dev and Sea Valley. Bit of a stood off that one a bit, the leader there. And, uh, his advantage is just two now to vocal performance. Tony Taft still there. Ralph having a good run around. Mighty Dev. They get to the 11th. Again, everybody's over it. Again, a little bit uh, tighter now. Closer order. There's probably only 10 lengths between first and last. And it's Mr. Busser still by a length to Ralph and Tainted Half. They get to the 12th. Good jump there by Tainted Half. Jumps himself into the lead. He's got the inside bend and takes on Mr. Busser. So Mr. Busser, Tainted Half, Ralph. A length or so away from Mighty Death, Super Dreams, Vocal Performance, Origami, one man. They get to the 13th. They have a little bit of confusion as they go over that fence. Mr. Busser pushes back into the lead now. Half's got the inside turn coming out of the pack now is Mighty Dev to throw down a bit of a challenge. We've still got seven furlongs to travel. We'll get over the 15th, better jump there by tainted half of all. He's got himself an advanced length advantage. But they're flip-flopping this lead. There's been five or six that have led at some point in this race. And this time it's the top weight tainted half's turn. And vocal performance, Mighty Dev looks threatening. Ralph Super Dreams, Mighty Dev said that more than once. <laughs> Mr. Buss has just sort of getting himself in a little bit of uh, trouble there, sort of mid-pack. Over the 17th, poor one's jump there was Ralph, so still up front is Tainted Half, but he's the top weight here, which is always hard to travel. 
with four phones and half a mile left to travel. It's tainted half from mighty dev super dreams. These three pushing through now. He's one man on the outside and goes for home as they go over the 18th. There's only two to jump. Tainted half was poor over that. And that's left mighty dev super dreams and one man the lead. These three now swing left handed with just two to jump. It's mighty dev super dreams. One man. And it's one man and super dreams have just got a half a length on mighty dev as they come down to the penultimate. One man super dreams. Mighty dev tainted half. Floyd's Gow. I don't think anyone else is going to get into this, but it's one man and Super Dreams that lead. Tainted Half is coming back again inside the final furlong now, and it's Tainted Half that bursts through here, but it's not one man and Super Dreams. Tainted Half just knows he's in front. Only got half a furlong left to run and one to jump, and it's Tainted Half, one man, Mighty Dev. Tainted Half got over it better and gets away from it better, so Tainted Half takes it up now from one man, and Mighty Dev only wins it because there's no run in here, as I forgot. So Top Weight wins that. Tainted Half, well done, Stu Gray. Yay. So, Stu Gray takes that off the top weight. Second was one man for Darren House. Third was Mighty Dev for Alex Cherry, along with Super Dreams in fourth. And fifth was Floyd's Gow for Graham Clutterbuck.